Good morning. So uh, I'm going to discuss with you for just a brief moment the goals of this project. Um, I've been working on this since about September of last year. The group's been working on it for a few years. And of course, because I've been working on it for many hours every week, I've talked to a lot of friends and colleagues and said, I'm working on this project to make Philadelphia World Heritage City. And generally, the response is, wow, that's really cool. So what does that mean? So I'm here to sort of be we, for us, what it means really is, you know, there's the designation, which is one thing, and we need that, obviously, to do, to do a lot of other things, but we could just get the designation and then do nothing. Um, really, this is about what we do with the designation and how we maximize the benefits of that designation. So we have five goals that we have come up with, and the breakout sessions will be centered around those goals and the strategies within those goals. So our first goal... <coughs> am I... Good, you're clicking, great. Uh, so the first goal is obviously to secure membership status within the organization of World Heritage Cities. And we plan to do that next month. There's a delegation that's going down to Arequipa, Peru, to the 8th World Congress of the Organization of World Heritage Cities, which provides this designation. And we hope to uh, know by the end of the year, hopefully a little sooner, uh, that we have achieved the status and tick that goal off our list and then have four goals. Uh, the next goal is to activate local, national, and global awareness and a deeper understanding of Philadelphia's historical, cultural, and geographic importance. So this, in a way, is sort of our coming out party. We have a, a bunch of people in the room, I'm thrilled to see all of you here, to start talking about this and build awareness locally here in Philadelphia. We want to build awareness in the US because we plan to be the first World Heritage City. There is no World Heritage City in the entire US. And then internationally as well, we want people in all parts of the world to know about Philadelphia and our important heritage. Uh, next is to activate local, I'm sorry, next is to promote preservation and stewardship of our historical and cultural assets. A lot of this is about <coughs> preservation and our heritage. It's really key to this effort. Um, and then to provide powerful economic and cultural stimulus to the region. So we believe that by using the World Heritage designation, we can brand the city and work with other brands that are already here in Philadelphia and bring more business and more investment to the city. And lastly, work together to attract people to visit, invest, work, study, and live in the region. So more exchange, cultural exchange, more students, more tourism, and all of that obviously brings more dollars to our region. So those are the five goals that we're working around. And as we've talked about this a lot in our sort of smaller working group, and we've realized, my god, there's so many things that we can do with this, and have come up with six or so strategies within those goals, but we really want to hear from you. What are other things that we can do? Are we on the right track? Um, because we believe that really this is all positive and most people I think when they hear about it they say, wow, that would be so great. So what are all the things we can do? Um, so next I'd like to, you've already been introduced to David Brownlee, Professor David Brownlee, who's become a really great friend during this process. And David is sort of a chief cheerleader and has this presentation that's really wonderful. I've learned a lot from looking at the presentation about all of uh, the things that Philadelphia has done that we're, that we're known for that a lot of people, Philadelphians, just don't know. Um, so I'll let David kick it off now with his presentation.